And Spreaker, you're on the air, Pastor Rick Worldwide, live ministry podcast network. Let's get to it. Lots to cover on this uh, Wednesday, late night, the 28th. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. All right, friends, give me a minute. We are doubling up our our test running here. Uh, Hopefully, ah, mercy, let's get Tin Can. Let's see. They are plugged in. Volume set. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we could do that. All right. Tin Can. How's it going? What's going on? Pastor Rick here. Yes, I am here, Franz. Give me a minute. And we are testing here and running. Let's get our friends over at Radio.co. And there you go. Radio.co. How's it going in the house? Pastor Rick here. We are going live here in a minute. All right, there you are. Amen. Finally. (laughs) How you doing, friends? Pastor Rick here, of course, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network on a late night Wednesday, kind of restarting everything. I had a world of problems, as I was just telling our friends over there. Well, we're going to go live on Melon TV, so let's get that running. Uh, hang on, actually, uh, let's see, all right, have to make sure I hit all the right buttons, because you know how that goes, friends, anyway, we've got a lot to cover, uh, this late night here, my friends, all right, bear with me, and we're gonna get going here, all right, let's see, let's do Amen. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully it'll work. Marcy, so much to do, so much to start, friends. Let's get going. Let's tune in and let's get riding here, going here. Uh, Amen. Live on the air, my friends. That's right. It is finally, finally. Uh, Let's see. I got a lot of volume levels to turn down and uh, hopefully I'll hit all the right buttons (laughs) here. (laughs) <laughs> so, I don't know, my friends. Oh, my friends. Wow, what a what a time here we are having. So, hopefully. All right. And there you go, my friends. You're here. It is true. We're here. I'm here. We're Wildlife Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. Live on Melon TV at the desk. Got all the notes ready to go, I hope, and I think. Uh, give me just a minute here. We're going to be dialing in. we got Twitch TV with us tonight. So, kids, behave yourself over there. You guys always uh, give me a hard time. And, well, I keep coming back for more, I guess. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm watching it. Our fourth service here. Bear with me. Lots of, uh, let's see, we've got lots of uh, set up here. What's going on? I've got feedback and monitors uh going on here oops there it is hold on here we're right by the camera so bear with me all right Uh, okay lots of phones and lots of monitors going on here my friends give me just a brief couple of minutes here we're gonna Get into this podcast here, finally, on the air. Lots of problems, as always. Uh, 45 minutes of trying to get a screen here on my monitor. So, uh, (laughs) as always, uh, amen. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, Amen. Hold Hold that monitor up here. All right. YouTube, Twitch TV. Uh, where else? Let's see. We got. Hold on. We've got. There. Let's see. All right. Uh, bear with me, guys. <laughs> well, you know, it's always a process here, friends. I've gotten the watching the monitors and trying to get everything set up and dialed in here. So, there it is, and we have. Let's see here we've got block talk radio we've got spreaker uh what else and who else do we have in the house my friends that's the million dollar question of the night uh man 
All right. Well, let's see. I believe we have uh, a monitor for Twitch TV. So uh, bear with me, you guys. Again, like I said here. Uh, amen. All right. There's Twitch TV. I knew I had it somewhere. Uh, I had the monitor set up on channel 2. So uh, hold on, you guys. Give me just a few. Always a process, but uh, you know how it goes here. Amen. All right. So hold your thoughts and your questions and uh, all that. We have the block up on, well, not a block, but uh, I do have a, um, let's see. I do have uh, the, um, what is, uh, there's something on Twitch TV they just added. It's a new recent thing they just added on, on Twitch TV. So uh, it, uh, it it is set up and uh, looking good. So let's see. So, all right. So bear with me. Getting all the channels dialed in here. Got to go over to channel five let's see if i can get the mouse to move and refresh itself all right and of course i'm getting no internet which i know it's not true so uh bear with me guys again wow that's pretty wild so i got channel five here on this side and i can watch everything on on here but it's showing no uh no monitors at all or no uh wi-fi like the internet's been disconnected so i don't think so but uh it looks like it's trying to spin on there it is connecting all right bear with me guys hold that thought grab them bibles your pens papers notebook tablets highlighters for your highlighters and all that good stuff because we got a lot to study tonight going into uh going into our bible study uh this evening here uh or early service here actually uh yeah bibles pens papers notebook tablets highlighters and that fresh cooked squeezed cup of coffee hot off that griddle my friends that's right all right bear with me uh <laughs> well where am i at that's what i want to know looks like it's trying to connect so hold on it was just on like i had everything set it was dialed in ready to go before 11 and then we lost wi-fi and i lost all the the whole screen went blank so uh that's kind of how it goes par for the course here so before we even pray it in let me get channel five up on the air you guys got all your gear we're ready to go again twitch tv kids hold your thoughts your comments uh just uh chill and have some church come on in the doors are always open uh grab your podcast notes my friends and again we're gonna go take a look at uh the opening scripture is going to be luke chapter 17 all the way over to 21 and then we're going to look at uh revelation as i look at my notes 11 to 14 but we are going to take a look at the intro podcast notes or the regular intro notes there in the book of Luke, out of the Orthodox Study Bible, my friends. That's what uh, I enjoy going into and looking. And so we're going to we're gonna do that. So anyway, uh, let's see. We've got, I had to switch sides. Uh, I have got live right now recording. Uh, amen, friends. Give me a minute here again. Uh, Channel 4 is up in the house on Spreaker Live. And then we've got Radio.co with us again live. Uh, um, <laughs> there it is. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, all kinds of channels. Same as always. We, you know, I always like to bring in a lot of different uh, multi-channeling and stuff and uh, get everything rolling and going. So, yes. Uh, Tin Can, Spreaker, Channels 1 and 4, and then we've got Block Talk Radio, of course, we've got uh, live right here on Melon TV, Twitch TV, LinkedIn, Twitter live right now, uh, Rumble TV, and what else, Getter live on the air right now, 
uh, Instagram, and of course, all them other channels as well. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate all of you. And thanks for waiting, and thanks for being so patient with me here. Let's uh, <laughs> let's redo that chair. Oh, mercy, friends. Well, I am glad you guys are here. Glad you guys stopped by. Uh, again, make sure you got your coffee as my channels are kind of just spinning here. Uh, typical way it goes. Uh, all right, so that should be okay. Oh, all right. What do we got going on? And why is that channel not getting in there? So, um, let's see. Hold on here. I don't know why I got to do this. All right. Oh, da -da -da -da. mercy. I got every, like, I have everything dialed in. Everything is queued up, ready to go, and then I go to get the main channel, and I got a blank screen. And then I got channel four or five here saying, I'm offline, and I got to do some little setup again. So I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening here. We're, we're, we've been, like I said, I've been battling this for quite a while tonight. So I'm trying to get back on here and get uh, set up. So. Um, let's see. All right. Well, drawn blanks over here on this side. Let's see. Huh. Wow. Well, it's trying to connect, so I'm just going to move on and move forward. You guys can skip through this, hit your TiVo and forward it. So let's just get into the podcast here again, friends. Thank you guys for being so patient and waiting here. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I have so much difficulty trying to get this set up. All my equipment's kind of breaking down right now. Uh, and it's it's kind of sad. I'm working on it, but, uh, you know, everything's kind of breaking down on me. And, uh, you know, it takes a little bit longer time to try to set everything up. And so I, even though I'm an hour ahead, it still threw me off. So, uh, yeah, so let's see. Hold on here again. What is happening with my channel or my connector? All right. Well, anyway, at least I got a, an extra monitor over on this side, so it's trying to connect. It just doesn't want to want to uh, want to go. So again, hold on, you guys, and let's see. I don't know. It's just not working. I, that's just strange. Uh, really strange, really, really strange. Wow. Huh. Well, I didn't expect this, so... All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Huh. Well, somehow I got kicked offline on channel five. Everything else seems to be working, and I, I don't get it. So uh, I guess we're going to get rolling. Let's just pray it in and get moving on here, friends. Just a little almost to midnight here, but, uh, you know, I'm still calling it 1130 uh, just because <laughs> it's, it's so much uh, reset stuff. So anyway. Welcome, my friends, to another usual podcast here. Uh, amen. Glad you guys stopped by for a bit here. Pastor Rick Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, <laughs> on the Melon TV Network here. Kind of switch things up a little bit. Uh, amen. All right. So, I think other than the problem and issue ongoing here, uh, for some strange reason, it does not want to. Let's 
let's see. I'm having so many difficulties here. Uh, so I'm going to restart and let that uh, kick back in. And then just let's get going. Let's just get going. I'm not, I, I guess I'm just not going to worry about that channel. Uh, amen. I'd have to go through all that stuff again. Oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, I come before you right now. I'm so grateful for the opportunities I get, even though I have all these problems and all this issue. Everything's breaking down on me, Father God. But you got me on that path, and you got me on a directive here, on the basement position you called to, or you, you, you passed on to me and said, here you go. You want to increase. This is what you're going to do. Well, I appreciate that, Father God. It's amazing. And even though I go through all these trials and tribulations, well, it's uh, just another day on the position, on the job here for you. As I proceed into the kingdom uh, to, uh, you know, to, to share the word here uh, for your kingdom, Father God. This isn't about me. This is about you and giving back and just being appreciative and humbled uh, to keep doing this and uh, keep you know, just getting through it no matter what happens and no matter what obstacles the devil, the enemy throws at me, well, you keep me on that path. And even, you know, even though he's throwing stuff at me, and he's, you know, he's trying his best to to do whatever he can to throw me off. Father God, you give me that strength and encouragement and encourage, or courage and encouragement to keep moving. Well, thank you, Father God, for that. As I, again, uh, step out of myself and give all back to you, give this all back to you. Uh, I appreciate, again, these these challenges and these opportunities. Father well, God, I, uh, I pray over the Wi-Fi, over the connections, again, that everything works uh, as, you know, even though I've been struggling with it, it it's it's working. It's doing what it needs to do for your uh, for your church and your uh, your glory. I uh, Jehovah Jireh. I pray for family, friends, everybody watching, hearing, listening to these podcasts. I pray for each and every one of them. And all the families and everybody connected, I pray for each and every one of them. Lift them up, encourage them. I uh, Give them that strength and that hope uh, and that light that, uh, that, you, know, that, that uh, you are, Father God. You are that light and we search, we, we seek after you. So I just give it over to you right now trials and tribulations and all <laughs> right now in jesus name i pray amen and amen all right my friends well we're gonna get rolling we're gonna get to it i can't log in i don't let's see um all right so let me do this here uh amen all right, so we're going to retry this. I, I, I'm i glad I moved all this over here. Hold on here. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what we got. Well, it's there. I got it, but uh, now it's going to make me go through all the all the setup that I had before. I uh, and, and this was on channel five was completely already set up, friends. It was already done. I mean, and then it just shut itself down, and uh, yep, that's the problem. So uh, anyway, let's. Uh, all right, uh, it's got one channel up. Let's move it on over to the other channel here, you guys. So bear with me again. I have to move over here because I can't see. I get that monitor over the way. Ah, oh, mercy. Well, just another typical podcast here, friends. Good to see y'all. Brought drop it in here. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, having some. Pretty bad issues again with stuff, so we are we're gonna see what we can do here. Uh, amen. All right. All right. So we're going. We're our live. Are we live? Is this thing on? Hello. 
Are, are we on here, friends? Oh, Marcy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let me see what we got. We got a, we got major problems with Channel 5. I kind of booted me off and said I wasn't live, so uh, amen. All right, there it is. So Twitch TV, you're all up in the house this evening. Is it evening? Morning? What time is it? It's uh, it's that midnight hour, friends. You flow into the podcast, and I bet your arms are tired. But it's that midnight hour, friends. And yes, I am live. Don't adjust your TV sets. Don't adjust your screens. Hold that thought. We're gonna get into some word again, friends. Like I said, we're gonna jump into the uh, main uh, author date, major theme, the background history in the book of book of Luke. Uh, so make sure you have your Bibles with you, my friends. Uh, and then, of course, jumping into Revelation again. Always like to uh, go through that. I think we're at about, uh, friends, let me check. We're at about 11 to 14 in the book of Revelation. It's the, well, we started this podcast on the 28th, and I'm leaving it at 11.30. So, you know that's that that's how it is but uh so the 28th for service wednesday late night bible study podcast Whew, that's a mouthful but it's true it, we're here i'm here you're here twitch tv ministry podcast live right now twitch tv twitter live is podcast three live and of course all your favorite podcast channels my friends that's where we're at live on uh what do we got we got live on uh iheart radio itunes all that it's there i think anyway there's my friend from japan amen konnichiwa tomarigato for the uh the support and uh i do appreciate uh everybody jumping online here uh sending shout outs to my little sisters and all uh, all friends pastors uh supports out there y'all know who you are amen i appreciate each and every one of you for everything you do for the kingdom my friends uh let's get into our podcast church service like i said the doors are open come on in don't spill your coffee coming in the door, friends. Pick, uh, you know, just clean it up real quick and have yourself a seat. We're going to get going. <laughs> Good gravy. All right. Where are we at? What time? We're we're on Melon TV Live here, uh, friends. And, of course, uh, YouTube. Like I said, uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network at YouTube. Not just a fancy catchphrase, but literally, as you know. All right, let's get to it. I've got uh, the monitors pulled up. Coffee is good. Uh, fresh cup over here with the fly catcher, just in case, because I never know. We've been spraying the studios out. Uh, amen and amen. All right, we're all prayed up. You're all good? Are you okay? Amen. We're all right. So let's get into our podcast notes, friends. You can pull them up on your devices, wherever, whatever you have, your, your, you know. Uh, we're going to look at, and again, let me get this out of my face because it's too close. <laughs> I I don't know about that, but it's anyway, it's I had it rehooked up and reset it to channel four uh, for Spreaker and our friends at radio.co. Uh, amen. Now, what's going on with that channel? There it is. All right. Let's pull that up and hold on here. All right, so yeah, radio.co UK, uh, 24 hour radio, 24 7 radio, live on the internet. That's pretty awesome. So, welcome, my friends, across the pond. How awesome is that? Amen. All right, well, we better get some coffee before we get uh, rolling here. Hopefully, I won't spill it, but. Amen. Well, you know, a spilt cup of coffee is a terrible thing. Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, friends? How you doing? Again, the 28th, 
Uh, now it's the 29th, because like I said, you're rolling into that midnight hour, friends. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Where is that? Let's see. Go ahead and pull that monitor up for uh, that. Hey, man, we got that thunder rolling up in the house, my friends. Wow. All right. Uh, let's see. Find my... I got... I got too many mices or mouses. Mouse, right? Is is it mouse? Something like that. It's plural. Anyway, we got to get that thunder uh, over on channel four. Amen. All right. Lots of little stuff going on here. Well, let's see. There it is. All right. How about some scriptures, friends? Can we get some church going this morning, my friends? <laughs> Well, it's, you know, it's one of them days and I kind of just roll it over and give it back to God because, you know, we're not equipped to, to, what's the word? We're not equipped to deal with it, handle it. I don't know. Anyway, give it to God, right? Well, let's do some reading here, friends. How about them Bible scripture notes that we got, the podcast notes? Go ahead. You, you got the email contact, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast uh, at yahoo.com. Not the network part, but the Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com. That is the official email contact for the ministry. All right. Well, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins and cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for us, friends. He did. We're going we're to make that personal. He died on the cross for me. He took our sins. Amen. This very moment, uh, as we said here, we missed a part here. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Now, this very moment, right where you're at, except if you're driving, pull over and be safe. I'm saying, you know. I accept, confess, and Proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Amen. That has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Church, friends, brothers, and sisters, in, in uh, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's get to our notes, friends, as we always like to do. Amen, Twitch TV. Amen. Check it out, friends. Sign up, if you will. Uh, thank you guys for following on all the channels. Uh, very awesome, and I appreciate that. All right, let's compose ourselves and get it together here, friends. Can we have some church service this morning, late night? Oh, uh, mercy. Going at the end of the month already. Wow. Where did the time go? That's the question, friends. Amen. All right. How about that serenity prayer, friends? Call it up. Speak it into the atmosphere because we need that serenity. Amen. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Uh, trusting he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, friends. And that is the key if we surrender to his will, friends. Amen. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen and amen. All right. So we're going to keep rolling. Uh, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to uh, post any of this out, but I will uh, as soon as I get an opportunity here. Amen. All right. Let's check monitors here. So far, uh, good, good stuff there. All right, the Lord's Prayer, right? Is that where we're at? I, I think so. I think we're at Lord's Prayer here. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ah, uh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, friends, forever and ever. Amen. All right. We're going to keep going. Y'all know what time it is. Put your armor on, friends. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, if you will, go into your Bible. Said I hope you have them out for service tonight, this morning. Uh, yeah, Ephesians, again, from 6, 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and dig into that word. The whole armor of God, not just a piece or a part, but the whole thing, all of it, every, every day, friends. <laughs> all right, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, uh, and, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in an evil day, or in the evil day, amen, right? Or not amen for that, but uh, we have the advocate, right? The Holy Spirit there. Uh, and having done all the stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall, friends, be able to uh, quench all those fiery darts of the wicked. All right. Now, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Uh, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and therein I may speak boldly uh, as I should, as, as I ought to be, right? As I ought to speak. <laughs> Amen. All right, good stuff there. All right, let's get back to our notes, and uh, we're going to get into our first uh, scripture here. Amen. Roll them sleeves up, my friends, I tell you. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Good stuff. Everybody's doing, behaving themselves uh, on, uh, on the uh, Twitch TV channel. I appreciate that. Amen. It's a rough crowd, you know, it's a tough channel, but I, I love being on there, and I am grateful for the opportunity uh, to be on that channel, and all channels, of course, not just one, but uh, amen. So let me get uh, a couple of these posted out here, friends, give me a minute or two here as I stare at the screen, and uh, let me post a couple of these out, let me share uh, some of the uh, some of the podcast there, and I'll get most of them uh, later on. But I wanted to go ahead and, and share this out. At least let a few friends know, family and friends know that I'm on the air right now. I didn't didn't think I was gonna make it through there, but uh, you know I had to had to fight through it. So, all right, uh, let's see. All right, uh, again, give me just a couple of minutes here. Let me post some of these out. I want to make sure uh, that I get that out there. Just a, just a few of them, not much, just a little bit here. Uh, you guys just, uh, again, uh, in a minute here, because I think we're live on, on uh, a lot of these channels already, so... I'm uh, just doing a quick post out, Getter, uh, Rumble TV, tweet, uh, Twitter, right? Twitter, right? It's, it's Twitter, right? <laughs> I had to double check just in case. I don't know. Sun got my eyes. I was out doing some work, friends. Uh, <laughs> I think it hit like 90 or something like that. I don't know. It's hot. So, uh, amen. All right. 
So bear with me, you guys. I'm just going to get a few of these posted out, and then we will get into the uh, message here. Lots to cover for sure. Amen. And let's see. All right, that's good. And let's see. All right, hold on, you guys. Give me a minute here. Again, we're going to get into Luke. Uh, that is going to be our opening set of scriptures here. Uh, amen. I just want to get a couple of these out real quick just to make sure. Amen. In case you didn't get that notice, friends, you know how it goes. Uh, I want to make sure you guys get those notices. I uh, don't know what's going on with all that, but uh, amen. So let's see. All right. All right. Give me a minute. Let's see. All right, uh, let's see what we got happening here on Getter. Check it out, friends. Go and sign up uh, on Getter and Rubble TV. Uh, amen. Lots to lots to look out there. New channels, uh, not new, but I've been on there for a minute now, and it's doing really well. Uh, I was surprised, but not surprised. I'm surprised, but not surprised. Amen. All right, good enough. Uh, that'll work for now. Let's go back to our monitor on Twitch TV. Uh, amen. Again, if you got your notebook tablets with you, my friends, I've got uh, a lot of notes for you. Amen. All right, good. Are we good? That's the question of the night, friends. How you doing? Thank you guys for jumping on the line with me. I appreciate all that uh, here. All right, get into the book of Luke. We're going to jump over to the background history. Break it down for you. A little something, something for you, friends. Uh, amen. Get that microphone uh, lined up here. So let's look at the book of Luke. Uh, friends, as you know, uh, amen. Well, let's look at the author, date, and major theme. So let's take a look first at the author. And, of course, then we'll go on to other uh, other items here, right? Is that other items in the menu? I think I'm, I, I'm hungry. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get going, friends. All right, the author. Now, all the early sources emphasize... The third gospel was written by Luke, friends, right there. Now, who is mentioned in, uh, let's see if I can see the notes there, Colossians 4, 14, and 2 Timothy 4, 11, and Philemon chapter 24, I believe. That's uh, Philemon 24. So, by birth, Luke was a Gentile from Antioch. And by profession, a physician. He was a fellow worker of Paul's. The plural we over in Acts 20, I believe that's uh, chapter 20 and verse 6. It indicates Luke was with Paul as he traveled the coast of Asia Minor on his way to Jerusalem. All right, now let's take a look at the date here. Now, in the or in his preface to the gospel, uh, I believe that's uh, Luke one one, indicates knowledge of other uh, written sources. Mostly scholars behave. Uh, let's see. Make sure I read the notes here. Uh, they believe that he used Mark as a source. He probably wrote the gospel either from Greece or from Asia Minor in A.D. 70 through 80 there. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot, he tells us. That's a lot. Amen. All right, let's look at the major theme here in the book of Luke. So, the universality of the gospel message, Luke has been called an historian because he dates biblical events by pre or reference to secular history. And that's going to give you a lot of scriptures here. Chapter 2, verse 1. 
uh, chapter 2 and chapter 3, 1. Now, since this is a gospel written for Christians of Gentile background, the non-Jews, uh, it emphasizes, let me get those notes together there, it emphasizes more than the other gospels uh, the challenge of a or of mission and evangelism, right? Uh, let me double look at that. Evangelization. Wow, them are some big words. Amen. Right. All right. Salvation is described as a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles. Two thirty-two on that one. Uh, at the end of the gospel, the risen Lord instructs his disciples to preach repentance. Right there. Uh, and the forgiveness of sins to all nations, kindreds, and tongues. Of course, as we know, uh, 2447. Uh, Sub-themes include. Now, we're going to break this down for you here. All right, so let's look at, I believe, it's just one, two, and three. So I'll give them to you as, I, as I'm as i reading them here. Number one, the prayer. Uh, the early chapters portray righteous men and women as prayer or at prayer. 110, chapter 13, uh, 46 to 55, and 64 to, uh, let's see, chapter 64, uh, 220 and 2832. I know there's a lot here. Amen. All right. Now, Jesus uh, portrayed frequently uh, at prayer. And again, it's going to break down a lot of the scriptures here, a lot of the verses. So let's look at this one again here 321, 516, 612, 918, 28, 11, 1. Chapter 22, verse 32, 41, uh, 23, uh, verse 46. Now, the gospel, uh, friends, the gospel ends with the disciples continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Uh, it's going to be 2453 on that one. So let's look at number two. Uh, amen. Now, the activity of the Holy Spirit, the inspirational work of the Holy Spirit is evident everywhere in the gospel. Mary is overshadowed by the Spirit, that's 135, and Jesus conducts his ministry in the fullness of the Spirit, chapter 3, verse 22, uh, and 4, 1, 18, and 10, 21. Now, the disciples were to embark upon the world mission after receiving power from on high. Uh, 2449. Now, the gift of the Spirit. So, number three here, friends. And let's take a look at it before I start sneezing again. Marcy. All right. Uh, let's see. So, three. Now, a deep concern for sinners, Luke reports Jesus' concern and love for sinners with a confident hope of their repentance and forgiveness. Now, that's a, that's a big one, friends, right there. Repentance and forgiveness, chapter 5, 1, 11. Oh, this is loaded with scriptures here, so I hope you're, you're writing down there. Uh, 736 through 51 or 50, 951 through 56, 1029 through 37, 19, 1 through 10, and 23, 39 through 43. Uh, that's a lot there. So the background is the look again here. Uh, Luke is the only gospel addressed to an individual. He wrote to a uh, treasurer. Theopolis, right, or Theopolis, uh, a Gentile and a new believer, that God was still at work in the Christian community founded by Jesus, friends. Well, there you go. Amen. All right, I think it's them allergies kicking up again. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's get all that over here again so I don't knock anything over. Amen. Give me a minute here. Okay, uh, yep, all right, let's, uh, 
let's stretch out here, friends. Like I said, lots to cover. Uh, amen. All right, I'm going to move this out of my way. Got a little side desk over here, and that's kind of where I have, uh, you know, all my extra stuff there. So, anyway, uh, yeah, we're we're here, friends. So, how you doing? All right, let's get that out of the way. Grab some fresh water, and then I'll get some fresh coffee. I, I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Amen. All right, I think we're good. Let's get into Luke here, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And again, I hope you have your Bibles out with you. Church, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So we're in the book of Luke. And we're going to dig in all the way from 17 to 21, friends. I I just had my notes, and I was going back over it and studying it and looking at it, and I was like, you know, we we better get in to the book of Luke here, just just a little bit. Let's touch a few, you know, touch bases with a few of the chapters here. So let's get some reading. Let's get going here, friends. Good to be here with you this morning. Uh, chapter 17. Uh, then in the book of Luke, of course, like uh, like I was talking about here, let's go ahead and read that. Now, then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone was hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than he should offend one of these little ones. Now take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day and seven times in a day, turn again to thee, saying, I repent. Thou shalt forgive him. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain, now watch this, the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, uh, ye might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the uh, root. Amen, right? Amen. Let me get that volume level up there. All right. Uh, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him, By and by, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meat? Huh. All right. Is it recording? Are we are we recording? That's the question. All right. Had to double check monitors here. All right. Let's go on to chapter eight or verse eight. Amen. And I will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup and gird thyself and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. All right. Yeah, let's go over to 10. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our uh, our duty to do. Uh, Job 22, 3. Now, don't forget, I have all the side scriptures for you, friends. Amen. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, Luke 9.51. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned uh, back and with a loud voice glorified God. Amen, right? 
and fell down <clears throat> on his face at his feet, giving him, uh, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Now there are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith have made thee whole. Matthew 9.22 for that. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, and neither shall they say uh, to or lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you, friends, in verse 21 there. And he said unto the disciples, these days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven shineth into the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. Matthew 24, 27. Now, let's go to 25. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Mark 8, 31. And as it was, now watch this, friends. This is why I wanted to go on this one. Uh, as it was in the days of Noah, uh, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man, Genesis 7, 1. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. All right. Now, likewise, also as it was in the day of Lot, or days of Lot, uh, they did eat. They drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, and they builded. But in the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Genesis 19, verse 16. Uh, Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. <coughs> All right, now 31, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. All right, uh, let's see. And that's going to be over in Matthew 24, 17. Remember Lot's wife. Now, here it is, friends. Write this down if you guys are, are taking notes, and I hope you are. I encourage you to take notes, you know. Amen. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Right? Come on now. Uh, I tell you, on that night there shall be two men in one bed. That shall be taken, or the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Matthew twenty four forty. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. All right. Uh, let's get some notes there. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, uh, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Now, we're looking at headlines here on this. God avenges his own and let the children come. All right, Tin Can in the house uh, this morning. As always, uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to get into, the, uh, into some scriptures here, uh, church. We're going to take a look at, uh, like I said, quite a bit. There's a lot to dig into here, so uh, we're going we're gonna to look at it. 
Amen. All right. Just watching the monitors here. I want to make sure. Am I, am I straight, straight out or crooked? I feel like I'm sitting crooked. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just something. Anyway, uh, how you doing? What's going on, friends? Uh, let's keep going. Chapter 18. And again, like I said, we're going to look at 17 through 21 in the book of Luke here. Now, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, the men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not God, uh, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man. And yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the, you, uh, the unjust judge saith. My, my sleeping laptop's here on channel 5, 4, 5, that way. That force in the middle. I had to reset it. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. All right. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, though I fear not God nor regard man. Now let's go on to five. Yet because this widow troubleth me, again, let's go ahead and look at that. I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord saith in verse six. Again, we're recapping here. I hear what the unjudge, uh, unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? And though he bear long with them, uh, Revelation 6.10 for that side scripture, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Hebrews 10.37 And he spake this parable that, unto uncertain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up in the temple to pray. Yeah, let's take care of that. Right. Let's see. And the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Uh, God, I thank thee that I am not Again, watch this. Not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Uh, we got uh, Psalm 135, verse 2. Fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house, justified rather than the other, for every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer, little children, to come unto me, and I forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Now verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Uh, Mark ten fifteen for that. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life and jesus said unto him why callest i uh, let's see where we at here da, 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 da. why callest thou me good none is good save one that is god all right chapter, uh, verse 20 thou knowest the commandments do not commit adultery do not kill do not steal do not uh, bear false witness honor thy father and thy mother and he said, all these have I kept uh, from my youth up. 
Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. Matthew 6, 19. And when he heard this, he was very, or was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier, friends, watch this in verse 25, for it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into in to the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, who then can be saved, church? And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God, Jeremiah 32, 17. Now you got to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, the things which are impossible with men are possible possible with God. Amen. And there you go. All right. Well, we got our first hour in tin can already in the house. Got that first hour rolling. We're still here uh, a little after 1230 or so. Uh, Amen. On a Thursday morning. Uh, All right. Tin can. You got it. Pastor Rick again. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, Our Wednesday late night fourth service power hour plus friends amen all right tin can I see you in the next one we'll we'll talk some more amen amen have a good night friends a good morning good day right good good Thursday amen all right tin can I'll see you on the next one amen all right so let's get that posted out you guys can check that out if you will. I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. I don't know what it is. Um, Allergies, maybe. I don't know. All right. So I have to keep adjusting uh, my glasses here. These are the new ones. I finally did get another pair, but uh, I think they're just a little bit too big. I don't know. Anyway, while we're waiting for that to load in, friends, I'm going to do some quick check-ins with our monitors, I believe. Let's see where we are here. All right, so yes, we got it. We got volume. And if I look a little sunburned, it's because I am. I've been out working. Amen. All right, so let's get some coffee. Forgot to do that earlier. Amen. All right, amen, amen, amen. All right, let's get that going. All right, oops, nope. Hold on here. All right, queued up, dialed up, ready to roll. Um, All right, we want Twitch. Let's go to the monitor there. Amen, amen. Uh, um, I know it's been a while since I've been on Twitch. Um, I like I, I broadcast on you know the different channels, the restream, the the uh, streamyard, the the uh, Melon TV right here, and uh, it it you know has extra extra feeds there, uh, and and they're connected to other channels. Hang on here. Oops, there it is. All right, so. Uh, so, yeah, so I, you know, and then I do the audio part of the podcast as well. So I, it's, uh, it's again, quite the task, but I'm, I'm grateful I get a chance to do that. So anyway, I lost track. I don't know what I was saying. I I don't even know where I was going with that, but anyway, we're going to reel it on back, continue in uh, as the monitors here on Twitch TV. A Ben, right? All right. Uh, Give me a minute. Got a plug. My my adapter came unplugged there. No, that's not good. Bear with me. Something popped here. Uh, hold on. 
Hold on. I should have checked that before. I thought I did. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, anyway, let's see what we got going on here. Wow. Well, let's uh, see what happened here. Uh, right. All right. Well, that's strange. Anyway, uh, hold on, you guys. I just had... Let's see. More technical problems. I thought I had this taken care of, but apparently not. So, give me a minute. And... Right. Huh. Well, that's not good. Uh, I thought I had all that taken care of, but apparently I missed it. Somewhere in the process, one of my cords came out, and oh, that's not good. All right, so bear with me, you guys. I guess I'm not going to get that one. Uh, that's not good. All right, well, let's see. All right, so anyway, I lost one of my uh, one of my monitors here. So bear with me, guys, on this. That is not good. I don't know what's happening here. Give me a minute here. Let me uh, let me fix this uh, real quick because I have to have this uh, in. And uh, again, thought I had all this taken care of. So, wow. All right, that's not good. Another set of technical problems, my friends. Bear with me on this again. I have no idea why all this is acting up the way it is, but it is. And uh, let's see. We have some problems going on here. Some major, major problems. I just lost two of my power plugs going into my, uh, into my setup here. So, well... Now what? Uh, plan A. I guess we just keep going here. Thank you guys for bearing with me again. Uh, I just had, again, two major cords uh, drop. I have no idea. So, oh, uh, mercy. Well, just when I think I've got everything taken care of, apparently I don't. I don't know. Thank you guys. Anyway, hold on here. Uh, hang on. I gotta move these cords around here. I got no power for my phone. Well, this isn't gonna be so good. I did not plan on this, so I did not expect this to happen. So bear with me, guys. I'm gonna have to try to do something here. All right, so, uh, <laughs> well, wow. On on uh scheduled events here uh friends so did not expect that i lost two of my where's it at on the thing hang on uh hang on well well <laughs> Well, that didn't work either. Wow. All right. Well, uh, 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 um, there's no plan A. I'm out. Um, I don't know what happened here. So I know. All right. Wow. Da, 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 da. All right, you guys can TiVo through all this, you know, skip all this uh, parts here. Uh, my phone, who is the main part here, uh, is not working. Um, and I don't, it just stopped. It like just stopped right in the middle of my podcast. So that's not good. All right. Well, wow. Um, I just noticed that again, and as usual, if I have to stop, 
and reset everything, then I'm going to be uh, have lots of more issues. So I don't know what, what's going on with that. Huh. Wow. Well, uh, that ain't good. Uh, I guess I'll just have to kind of skip around all that. The other one, the other power, actually the power block for this is just drop down. So, uh, all right. Well, let's move on. I guess I may cut this one short. I, I, you know, I, I'm running out of, uh, well, the battery is not plugged into my phone. So, well, let's give it over to God. Amen. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's keep forward. TiVo past that part, friends. There's a, <laughs> about a two minute spot there that stopped. And uh, I, my phone, broke the other one dropped out the other battery dropped out and i dropped the power source for it so it's not working so uh amen all right we got quartz everything's plugged in main channel we're good all right let's move on come on friends let's keep reading we're in luke 18 and uh, again over at uh, verse 28 we're going to just pick up there and move on right keep sailing down the down the down the ocean there all right, so then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or parents, or, or brethren, or wife, or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Deuteronomy 33, 9. Who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting? Then he took unto him the twelve and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. Psalm 22, 1, and Matthew 16, 21. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitefully treated, and treated, and spitted on. Matthew 27, 2. And they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. Amen, right? All right. All right. So I'm going to try this real quick without dropping everything and without stopping too much out of the way. All right. All right. Uh, well, let's see how this is going to go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. I gotta do this real quick because I have no cord or power. Uh, I can do that. Yeah, there it is. Uh, wow. Nope. Huh. Well. Oh uh, well. All right, well, I guess we, we roll on. I lost the power to my phone. It completely just, the, the cord stopped working, and I don't, I have no idea. It's, I, <laughs> wow. Yep, I just lost the power to my phone, so that uh, was unplanned. I did not think or, or figure that was going to happen here. Uh, and I have cords going in my regular my regular uh hookup there on the phone and nothing it just went out i uh, again like i said i my equipment's going out and uh so i'm i'm trusting god that he's got a that his plan is going to be all right and i will just keep moving here so let's get back to the scripture let's go ahead again and uh Get that all taken care of here. Let's go do our monitor check. Amen. All right. Ah, uh, mercy, my friends. Thank you guys for being so patient here. And uh, you know, like I said, I always have all like I have all these issues worked out beforehand. And then right when I try to go on, I have I just get bombarded with problems. I mean, dropping stuff and and you know all this other stuff. Cords not working. Uh, equipment not working, equipment breaking down, uh, and you know it's it's I just I don't get it. I don't understand uh, why 
uh, that happens. Um, so I, I guess I just move on, right? And and just glorify God in all the trials and tribulations, right? I, I guess that's what we got to do, friends. Amen, right? All right, so let's keep going. <laughs> let's try to move on here. We've got a lot to cover. Uh, amen. Already in your first hour, uh, friends, we're, we're still rolling. We're still in the book of Luke. Uh, it was just picked up on 30, I believe in 31, was it? Uh, yeah, so we just left off at 31. He says, written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. That's uh, Psalm 22, 1. And uh, we got Matthew 16, 21. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles and shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spitted on. Again, which we're seeing clearly in these end times right now, right? We, we see this happening more and more frequently every single day, friends. Uh, so let's move on, right? That was over in Matthew 27, 2. And they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And in 34... And they understood none of these things, and the saying was hid from them, and neither knew they the things which were spoken. And it came to pass that as he was come unto Jer uh, Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. Uh, Matthew 20, verse 29. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant, and they told him, that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by, and he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Uh, <laughs> and they went, and they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. All right, and Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And as he come near, uh, he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou uh, that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. Luke 17, 9. All right, uh, let's look at 43. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Now let's look at 19. Now I didn't get any of the rest of these notes together. I didn't have a chance. Uh, as again, as usual, I picked up on my busy season. So I, I have been trying to do the best I can. So, again, let's take a look at this, friends. Uh, just a few chapters here in the book of Luke. Uh, amen. All right. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Uh, my phones have lost power, uh, and I can't get them even to charge up. The cord is just completely not even working here. So, all right. Let's keep going. Uh, so, yeah, ninth right chapter 19 and jesus entered and passed through jericho and behold there was a man named zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich and he sought to see jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature and he ran uh, ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood up and said, or stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I uh, have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Exodus 22, 1. Uh, and Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. 
for so much as he also is a son of Abraham, Luke 13, 16. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And as they heard of these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. All right. And he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a, a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and return, or to return. Matthew twenty five fourteen, And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, uh, Occupy till I come. But uh, his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. John 1, uh, 11 there. So bear with me again here. Just taking a quick couple of notes. All right, 15. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Now, we know this story, so check it out, friends. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained ten pounds. And then he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities and a second came uh, again let me get some notes there saying lord thy pound hath gained five pounds and he said likewise to him be thou also over five cities and he and another came saying lord behold here is thy pound which i have kept laid up in a napkin for I feared thee, because thou art an astute man. Thou hast taken up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Matthew twenty five twenty four. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an astute man, taking up that I laid not down and reaping that I did not sow. 2 Samuel 1, 16, and Matthew 12, uh, what do we got? Uh, Matthew 12, 37 for that. Uh, now, wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury, right? right. Now, and he said unto them in 24, Unto them that stood by, take him or take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. All right, well, that didn't go so well. All right, a little bit of notes there. Uh, let's see. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. And when he had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. That's over in Mark 10.32. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphagia and Bethany at that mount, or at the mount, called the Mount of Olives, uh, he sent two of his disciples, Matthew 21, 1, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, wherein yet never man, never man sat, loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask, the, or ask you, why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, 
because the Lord hath need of him. All right. And they that were sent uh, went their way and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said what uh, unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, uh, The Lord had need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they uh, or cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way, Matthew 21, 8. And when he had come to nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, uh, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice, as we should, right? For all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven, uh, amen, and glory in the highest. That's uh, going to be over in Psalm 118. i got to fix that note real quick here, friends. Bear with me on these, uh, these, these issues I'm having here. Mercy, they're terrible. Uh, let me grab some coffee. Uh, amen. All right. All right. Let's keep going. 39. I know it's a lot of scriptures here to unpack on this uh, first hour here, but well, I tell you, sometimes when I, you know, I don't hear from the Lord all the time. I don't hear from the Spirit all the time. But uh, when I do, like I always say, I got uh, a lot. So, uh, and of course, you know, with the notes and, and all that stuff too. So I like to I like to keep notes and keep scriptures written down. That way I got them and uh, we can go over them on our Bible study here. All right, uh, and let's go to 39. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Habakkuk 2.11 and when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, uh, even thou at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from their eyes. And we are in Luke chapter 19 on this podcast, friends. We're digging into the, uh, what was it, uh, about a... Oh, uh, seventeen to twenty-one, friends. Lots, uh, lots of stuff in here. All right, and he answered again. Let's go back to forty. Uh, and to them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And we've got again Habakkuk two eleven. And when he uh, was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. Let's go down to forty-two here. Uh, saying, if thou hast known, even thou, uh, or even though, at least in the uh, this thy day, the things which belong unto the, thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee, and compass, compass thee round, and keep thee in, in on every side. Amen, right? There we go. Now it shall lay thee even with thy ground and thy children within thee. And let's see. Let's go ahead there. I've got the monitor on the left side here, so that makes it nice. Ah, uh, let's see. But now I hit from my eyes. So let's go to 43 here. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round and keep thee in on every side. And shall lay thee even when the ground or with the ground and thy, uh, thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of my visitation. All right. And he, <clears throat> and he went into the temple and began to cast them out, uh, 
them that sold therein and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house, friends, he says here, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. That's in verse 46 there. And he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests, the scribes, and the chief of the people uh, sought to destroy him, Mark eleven eighteen, and could not find what they might do. Uh, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. All right, there you go. So let's go on to uh, 20. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders, Matthew 21, 23, and spake unto him, saying, Tell us, but what authority doest thou these things, right? Or who is he that gave thee this authority? Uh, it's going to be over in Acts uh, 4 7 for that. Amen. Let's get that down there a little bit. And he answered and said to them, I will ask you one thing and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then believed ye him not? But, and if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they uh, be persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered, and they could not tell whence it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I, uh, tell I you by what authority I do these things. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and let it forth to husbandmen, or husbandmen, right? Uh, and went into a far country for a long time, Matthew twenty-one thirty-three. And at that season, or at the season, he sent a servant to the husbandmen, husbandmen, there it is, and they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandman beat him and sent him away empty. And he again, or again, he sent another servant. And they beat him also and entreated him shamefully and sent him away empty. And again, he sent a third and they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, what shall I do? I will send my beloved son in May, let's see, it may be they will reverence him for when they see him. And when the husbandman saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir, uh, come, let us kill him, and the inheritance may be ours. All right, so they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. And whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall be uh, shall fall, in will grind him to powder. Daniel two thirty four for that. And the chief priests and the scribes, the same hour, sought to lay hands on him. Uh, and they feared the people, for they, let's see, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them, and they watched him and sent for spies which should feign themselves just men. And they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him under the power and the authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, 
neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Or of, uh, of a truth there. It, uh, is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Shew me a penny, whose image and subscription hath it? They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. And they could not take hold of his words before the people. And they marveled at his answer and held their peace. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, uh, which deny that there is any resurrection. Then they asked him, saying, Master, uh, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die, having a wife, and he die without children. Now, don't get confused and don't get lost here. It's a little bit of a long part here, but we're going we're gonna to see what it says here, friends. Uh, again, uh, Matthew chapter 20. We're, we're going to jump into that. I know it's uh, it's got a little bit of dark passages there, but... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get through it here, friends. So bear with me again here. As oh, having all kinds of technical problems again, like I said before, uh, friends. We're gonna try to keep going here. So as it says, brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. And there was again in verse or uh, chapter twenty, uh, friends. Here in the book of Luke, we're we're getting through it here. Uh, why does that keep wanting to go there? All right. All right. Uh, 29. There, there were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children. And 30. And the second took her to wife, and he died childless. And the third took her, and in like, mind, uh, like manner, the seven also. And they left no children and died. Last of all, the women died also, and therefore in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she, for seven had her to wife. Again, Luke 20, uh, friends. And Jesus answering said to them, the children of this would marry and are given in marriage, and they which should uh, be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. And neither can they die any more, for there are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. There it is. Now, that the dead are raised, even Moses shoot at the bush when he called the Lord uh, the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Uh, Exodus 3, 6. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living. For all live unto him. There you go. Then certain of the scribes answering said, Master, thou hast well said. In verse 40, uh, let's see what that says. And after they that they durst not ask him any question at all, and he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, the Lord saith unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand. Uh, Psalm 110, verse 1. All right. Till I make thine enemies thy footstool. All right. Let's get that in there. Now David, therefore, calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, 
Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts. Matthew 23, and let's get that one going again here. All right. Now, again, in 47, which devour widows' houses and for a shoe make long prayers, the same shall receive greater damnation. All right, let's look at 21. And verse 1 here, and he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury, Mark 12, 41. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast into one uh, unto the office are the offerings, not that that there you go, uh, offerings of God. But she, of her pen, penury, hath cast in all the living she uh, that she had. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with godly stones and gifts, he said. As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the line which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Now watch this, friends. Watch this. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. Matthew 24, 4. Uh, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, there you go, end times right now, friends, as we are in the end times. Here's uh, a little something for you, uh, friends. We gotta watch these, uh, watch these signs here. But when, when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. Uh, then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And here we go, right? Uh, all right. And 13, it shall, uh, it shall turn to you for a testimony. Uh, Philippians 128 for that. Uh, settle it, therefore, in your hearts. Not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Matthew 10, 19. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to uh, gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. Uh, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And he shall be hated of all men uh, for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish, Matthew uh, 10.30. In your patience possess ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Matthew twenty four fifteen, 
Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of, uh, of it depart. And let not them that are in the countries enter thereunto. All right. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. All right. A couple little notes caught up there. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive unto all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Under the times, as we look again, friends, key, if you're taking notes here, uh, signs of the end, as we, again, are clearly in the end times. We need to be prepared, not scared, friends, right? Come on now. So, at the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, Daniel 9.27, and there shall, again, I'm, let's see, I didn't have room to write my notes here, but... Um, amen here. Let's see. All right. Hold on here, friends. Uh, in 25, friends, signs of the end. Again, as we were talking about that here. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Matthew 24, 29, and 2 Peter 3, 10. Men's hearts, hang on here, there it is. All right. Uh, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after these things, or those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Matthew 24, 29. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power, friends, and great glory. Amen. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Amen, right? Mm. And he spake to them a parable. I uh, behold a fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know that ye, that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Again, I uh, 31. And verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That's in 33 here. So again, just kind of catching up on some of the notes I missed. All right. Uh, amen. All right. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. That's again in Matthew 24, 36. And take heed. Give me a second there. Oh, all right. Uh, take heed yourselves. Lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness. And cares of this life, as he tells us to be separate, friends. Amen. Right? Uh, let's see. Of this life, he says, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. 1 Thessalonians 5.2 Watch ye therefore and pray always 
that she may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before uh, the Son of Man. And in the day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came in early in the morning to him, uh, let's see, to him in the temple for to hear him. All right, there it is. I know that was about an hour and a half or so and w with some little bit of glitches and, and technical problems happening. Uh, my phone is, I for some, uh, again, for some very strange reason, uh, all of a sudden, my phone is not charging. It is plugged in and is not working. So, uh, I don't know why. Hopefully, uh, it didn't get unplugged at the base part of it, though. Wow. Well, technical glitches once again. Why not? Throw them in there. I'm used to it. All right. Anyway, there you go. So let's go to Revelation here. Uh, amen, friends. We're going to kind of roll through a little bit uh, here. Not Probably not going to get the full podcast in. Uh, I don't know. We, we are already over anyway, so uh, we'll probably cut it short here a little bit anyway. Um. All right, let's see what we got. 11. So go to Revelation 11, friends. Let's go ahead and look at that. And uh, as we get to our second hour uh, this morning, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here. Melon TV, back, uh, friend. <coughs> uh, mercy, devil's trying to choke me up. Not going to happen. I got my coffee and my backup coffee and some water just because, you know. Anyway, it's pretty warm uh, in the 70s already still. I mean, we're almost uh, a little after 1.30 in the morning, and it's still uh, close to the 70s here. And, yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh Let's see what we got tonight. Eleven, right? We want to go to eleven. We are going to get we are going to get Revelation here. We're we're going to check that out anyway because I I always you know go through that as, as much as I can. So we'll see how long, but it, it'll probably be hey we're we're approaching the two hour mark here on this podcast, friends. And uh, again, thank you guys for putting up with all the glitches and the problems here. I all the technical problems lost my phone. Uh, all the power uh, cords uh, stopped working. I don't know why. There's something going on with my my main uh, controller, or main you know power unit over there that's charged in. And I checked everything, but it all seemed to be working uh, real good there before. And then, like I said, uh, a long just battle trying to hook everything back up and trying to get everything reconnected. I have no idea why i uh, it doesn't uh it doesn't want to work so anyway if it goes out um i guess i'll have everything else working anyway all the power is working okay over here so uh man all right so again thank you guys again for putting up with all this thank you guys for holding out and you know i know there's uh especially at it, um, Twitch TV. I hadn't got a chance to be like I. It's been two weeks since I've been on on live there, uh, so I, I just I get behind. You know, during the summer, I I kind of expect that, but uh, during the summertime is my my extremely busy time, and we we got so held back from over the winter that uh i didn't you know it just threw everything off so i uh, you know we're now we're trying to play catch up and get everything done and in maneuver and in my studies and all that so i uh, you know i i i'm as i always said the target for this channel was to be here every day uh and then just things happened and you know things things 
happen and change the whole scheduling. Uh, and uh, so now I'm just trying to get on when I can. So, I uh, <laughs> opportunity, right? So there you go. Uh, you're in the loop. You're in the know on that one. And I, again, humbled, my friends. Thank you guys for for support and prayers and uh, just continuing to to jump online with me here. Um, trying to, you know, trying to do what I can and, and just try to be, uh, you know, uh, just glor glorify God, right? And do what I can here. So, uh, amen. It's my full-time mission and my full-time position, friends. I, I get emails all the time about that. And it's like, well, this is what I do. I'm what I'm called to do. So, you know, good or bad, uh, you know, you guys see, I had to drop, I had to go down and pick up my, my charger and, uh, battle with my phone here. And it's like, oh, but you know, I move on and, and we're, we're good. Amen. So anyway, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep digging in. Um, uh, let's see again. Uh, Revelation chapter 11. And we're going to look at 14, friends, 11 through 14. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, amen. Glad you guys dropping by for a little bit here. I know it's late, but uh, my typical, usual uh, time frame here. So, we are in Revelation 11 through 14 on this one. Uh, Twitch TV, thank you guys. I appreciate all you guys on every channel. I appreciate that. And Melon TV, of course, live right here, right now. Amen. With YouTube and more. So thank you guys. Switched up to look on Melon. I kind of added a few things in there and thought that was excellent. So, uh, again, trying to, trying to get a little bit more professional on cue here. I. Uh, Otherwise, all the other problems I'm having. Anyway, let's take a look at it, friends, as we kind of dig into the book of Revelation here. Uh, amen this morning. So thank you guys again dropping by. So let's look at it. Chapter 11 in the book of uh, Revelation again here, friends. Uh, amen. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar of them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles in the holy city, shall they tread underfoot uh, forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. All right, let's see if we can get through that. Uh, amen. Oh, mercy. It's a bit of a challenge, I tell you, but, you know, let's do what I can here. Uh, amen. So let me get that taken care of. A little bit of side notes going on here. So let me get that fixed up. All right, good enough. Uh, so, look at the two witnesses that were talking about that here in Revelation 11 through 14. Now, again, as I turn to the next page, uh, there's some stuff going on here. So, let me fix that. Otherwise, uh, it'll sit until the next time I go through it uh, again, which happens quite a bit here. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, amen. So, as we look at again 11 verse 4 in Revelation again, uh, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Psalm 52 8. And if any man will hurt them, let me double check, make sure I didn't jump uh, pages there. All right. Uh, if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Numbers 16, 29. And these have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the day of their prophecy. 
and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Exodus 7:19. And when they shall have furnished their test or finished their testimony, ah, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is, uh, spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Psalm 79, 2. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after these, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Ezekiel 37, 5, and Revelation 11, 9. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. 2 Kings 2, 1, and Isaiah 14, verse 13. And at, uh, let's see, and the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake was slain of men, 7,000. And the remnant was affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe, uh, or the third woe cometh quickly. And a seventh angel sounded, and there was great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. And it was Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God in their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped God. Revelation 4, 4. All right. Saying, we give thee thanks, O Lord, uh, God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken uh, to thee thy great power and hast reigned. Revelation 1, 4. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name. Small and great shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Daniel 7, 9. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Revelation 8, 5 on that one. And let's roll on to 12 here. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, uh, a woman clouded with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars now again i've gone into this podcast uh these scriptures i've gone into in the torah friends uh which i have it's uh the title is bell and the dragon that is how it is set up in the in the torah so if you get an opportunity go check that out and read that for yourself all right so as we talk about the woman with child uh, amen. So let's keep going here, I believe in three. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. For devour her child as soon as it was born. Exodus 1.16 And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her children, or child, was caught up unto God and to his throne. Uh, Psalm 2.9 And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God. 
that they should feed her there a thousand uh, two hundred and three score days. Revelation eleven three. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Daniel ten thirteen. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Genesis 3, 1, Luke 10, 18, and Revelation 9, 1. All right, uh, let's see, we got 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Uh, and they, let's see, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. As I always say, we were bought at a price, friends. All right, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. And therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in him. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the seal, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Friends, and there it is. Uh, and when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman, which brought forth the man-child. Revelation 12, 5. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. Uh, let's see, that she might fly into the wilderness and into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time. Ah, mercy. Sleeping computers. Uh, where she is nourished again for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Exodus 19.4. Uh, let's see. And the serpent cast out his mouth water out. Uh, out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. And he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Isaiah 59.19. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth swallowed. Uh, let's see. The earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, chapter 13. And let's get that little spot taken care of and squared up there. Uh, man. All right, well, we're going to get as much scripture as possible on this, friends. Uh, so I'm uh, probably going to, like I said, probably not. I mean, we'll, we'll be at two. Uh, I mean, we're already over two hours anyway. So this will probably be the usual, but I'll probably try to get in one, uh, one more there. All right, and whatever I don't, like I said, I always add them to the next podcast, so that's all right. We'll 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 keep rolling and, you know, watch the clock here and see what we got going on. All right, so, uh, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnants of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And that's, let's again, let's go on to chapter 13 here in the book of Revelations. Then I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his he horns ten crowns, and upon his head, the or heads, the name of blasphemy. And we got Daniel 7.2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat with and great authority. 
Daniel 7, 4. And I saw one of his heads, and it was wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Uh, let's see. Who is able to make war with him? Oh, man. All right. Hold on here, friends. Give me a minute. All right. Well, y'all, number one, somebody get get that man some coffee. Get that brother a cup of coffee, would you? <laughs> I'm trying. I got so much work to do tonight. I'm just getting started. I mean, my usual, but get that brother some coffee. Stat, right? Amen. All right. Speaking of coffee, let's go ahead and grab some a little bit here. We'll see if we can't wake up. I knew the yawn was coming. I haven't had a really long, long day. All day yesterday, a lot of work out in the sun. And like I said, it was pretty hot. Was the normal summer, you know, the usual, the usual hot summer we got going on. All right, so uh, there you go. Let's keep going. We got a little bit more left to do here. A lot, a lot more coverage, actually. So let's see. I think we're in 13. And I think about verse five. Uh, so let's uh, let's see if we can do that here, friends. Uh, five. And there was given unto a mouth a, him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given him uh, given unto him to continue forty and two months. Uh, right. And half in his month. Uh, let's see his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Daniel 7, 21. And all that dwelt upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life uh, of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Exodus 32, verse 32 there. Uh, amen. All right. And he, uh, in verse 10, oh, let's go back to 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Revelation 2, 7. And he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Genesis 9, 6. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And the exercise, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh first, or maketh fire, friends, uh, come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, Deuteronomy 13, 1. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth, and they are that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Second Kings 20, verse 7 on that one. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see what we're at here. Now, the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Again, kind of recap in verse 15 there. Let's, uh, uh, Revelation 16, 2 again. Let's go to 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Come on now. Uh, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath an understanding count. Uh, let's go to the notes here. 
Uh, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. It is number of 600, three score and six, or as we know, 666. There you go. It's right there, friends. Come on now. All right, 14, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sion, and with him an 140 and 40,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Revelation 5, 5. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it, uh, as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts. And the elders of no man could learn that song but the 144,000. All right. So there you go. Which were redeemed from the earth. So uh, let's see. Just taking some notes there. Now, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which should follow the Lamb, or which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. Right? I'm on. Uh, da -da -da -da. Now, these were redeemed from another, from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. 2 Corinthians 11, 2, Revelation 3, 4. And let's keep rolling here. And in her mouth was found no guile, for they without fault before the throne of God. Psalm 32, 2. And I saw another angel. Let's double check something here. It looks like, well, we're kind of still on. Uh, there we go. We lost, uh, we lost uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, man, oh, man. All right. Well, I got most of it in. Uh, it looks like it's still recording. It's still, well, it looks like it's still logged in here. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, there we go. We we lost. <laughs> why, why not? You know, get toward the end of the broadcast and we lose the Wi-Fi. Oh, uh, man. Well, we were at six here, uh, friends. Uh, he says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Ephesians 3, 9. Revelation eight thirteen, Saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water and were followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hands. Revelation thirteen fourteen, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest. Uh, day nor night, and the worship the beast and his image. Whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, here is the patience of his saint of the saints, and they are that keep the commandments of God in the faith of Jesus. Revelation twelve seventeen. Ah, uh, from heaven saying unto me, let's see, thirteen. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die uh, in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, see at the Spirit, and yeah, they might rest from the laborers, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle, Ezekiel one twenty six. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in by sickle, and reap. 
for the time has come over the to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle, and the earth in the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. For the wine press was trodden without the city, or without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, uh, even, let's see, uh, bri- let's see, wine press even under the horse bridles. By the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs, now it's Isaiah sixty-three, three, and that's it, friends. It's a wrap. I lost power again. Uh, you know, it's been one of those nights, so not been good. But uh, let's close out Blog Talk Radio. I'll see you on the next broadcast. Right, I'm gonna end it right here. We have uh, no uh, no power or no uh, Wi-Fi. It just shut down. So it says we're still rolling. But anyway, that's it for me, friends. Two o'clock. I am uh, Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Talk to you soon, friends. Take care, and I'll see you later. All right. So bear with me, you guys. Uh, let's see what we got happening here. And. All right, so you guys that are on Spreaker, we just had a power uh, surge or something shut down my power. Uh, We lost it at about 2 hours and 10, 15 minutes here. So I'm closing it out right now. We're going to end, and I'll redo something later on or tomorrow or today or something. Anyway, that's it. Spreaker Channel 1. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the next broadcast uh our late night wednesday night podcast friends uh mel tv i'll talk to you soon pastor rick here see you soon friends